make that jam. But today we're going to talk about something else that's been extremely popular this season from Roberta's first time though in Garden Party. It's the short and sweet celebrity series Hollyhock. Now we all love hollyhocks, especially if we love that cottage garden look or mm -hmm. that English garden look. The problem with hollyhocks always is that they get real tall and lanky, the stems aren't strong enough, and they tip over. So they spend most of their bloom time laying flat on the ground. Well, that doesn't do so much for my garden. Uh, we also don't like typical hollyhocks because every other summer they don't do anything. Exactly. Because they're called biannual, exactly. right? Exactly. Yes, mm -hmm. these hollyhocks are way different. I love these hollyhocks. Yep. First and foremost, because these are perennials that are going to start to bloom this May. Yay! This is going to be one of the very first colorful flowers in your garden. And not only is it going to bloom starting this May, this is going to bloom from May to June, July, and August. Wow. That's twice as long as those normal hollyhocks. And these are going to come back every single year. So every year you'll get blooms. And they also are very prolific. So you're going to get more hollyhocks yeah. every year as well. So you're going to start out with these six pieces for $36. So let's see. Six times six is 36. That means each plant is six bucks. That is a deal. Yeah. And uh, you're getting all these different colors too. So let's take everybody through what we're going to get in this set. Yeah. So this is a six piece collection of these short and sweet celebrity series hollyhocks. Mm -hmm. Now each of these plants that you're going to be receiving are so incredible because these grow about two to three feet tall. So these are not going to flop over. The right. average hollyhock grows six to eight feet tall. Mm -hmm. The wind comes on, they fall, they fall over. You need to stake them. Yeah. You don't have to worry about these. Okay. These, instead of growing tall, they actually produce more flowers than any other hollyhock we've ever seen. So they spend their energy making flowers rather than exactly. growing to that extreme height, which you don't really care about anyway. Up to 75 flowers wow. per stalk. Nice. With multiple stalks per plant the first year. So you can imagine how many flowers you're going to get on this, on this perennial hollyhock. So looks like we're getting lemon yellow uh -huh. and we're getting bright reds, uh, something that's like a peachy pink. Exactly. Purple and a, like a lavender um, and, and like that, an orangey red one too. Exactly. So the, you know these colors are exceptional and each of the each of the plants mm -hmm. as you can see these flowers are double flowers mm -hmm. which means they're thicker and fuller than the average hollyhocks yeah. that are you know they're thin and you'll get maybe two to three maybe four flowers per plant on yeah. your average hollyhock every other year. This you're going to get up to 75 flowers per stalk. Wow. Flowers like this on each one of your plants every single year. And the thing that's great about them too is there's flowers from top to bottom. They've got some dense foliage but popping right out of the green are flowers in a nice long stalk. If you like the look of little snapdragons, these are like snapdragons on steroids because they yeah. are just big fat flowers and tall abundances of flowers and you'll get tons of them even this first season. So Devin's exactly. showing you your shipping sample and look yeah. what's on there. This is just one of the plants that you could be receiving. Now you see what this is? This is a flower. And then you can see even more flowers up here as well. These are going to start to bloom for you this yeah. May and these are going to bloom for four solid months, giving you flowers a month before and a month after yeah. your average hollyhocks and they're going to bloom this year and every single year. That is unheard of in the hollyhock world. So again, just to go through why these are special. Uh, th before we do that, they're also award winning. Exactly. And I know you had, you wanted to talk about that. We have a, a special yeah. shot of that. Yes, these were the 2012 Fluoro Select Award winner, which is, it's like the Grammys for the garden wow. out of Europe. And that means that these are an exceptional plant. Yeah, and they, they really when are. they when they were introduced, they just, they took the garden market by storm. I also want to point out too why I love shopping with Roberta's. See, this is what you're getting, six of these, and you're going to get all of these different colors. But, and just to do what your uncle told me, um, squeeze the pot, pull it out, and see how that thick root system there, that's all the bigger of a hole you need to dig. I just love the fact that these get so big so fat, but unlike all the work that is required when you buy those giant five and ten gallon pots from the garden shop yeah. and spend more money, you've got to get a big shovel out, dig a big hole, it's a lot of work. Pop these in and they get big in the first season without yeah. a lot of work on your part. Exactly. So in each one of these pots, this is two plants. Mm -hmm. This first season, so this plant 
And if you, if you had two of these planted in one of these pots, you're gonna have a plant like this this first season. Starting this May, you're gonna get flowers, up to 75 flowers per stock mm -hmm. with multiple stocks per plant. Yep. And remember, they're not gonna tip over. You don't need to stake them. Mm -hmm. um, they do look great in the back row if you're gonna put them in the ground or if you've got a tall garden, they could be in the middle row. Uh, they are gonna get about three feet high, did you say? Yeah. So um, you can put them against a picket fence. They would look lovely, but they don't need the fence to brace them. Exactly. Um, they could cover up an ugly fence if you wanted them to or an ugly part of your of your wall, maybe a plain stucco section. Uh, but uh, look at them around the mailbox. They I don't know. need to be tied to the mailbox. No, yeah, exactly. That's mm -hmm. something that hollyhock never could do before. Right. These are shorter. These are stout and willing, ready to start bringing you these gorgeous double flowers yeah. starting this year and every single year. And they're simply so easy to grow. Mm -hmm. You can literally plant them anywhere, containers right in the ground because these are winter hardy to negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Fantastic. So you don't have to bring them in. Um, so put them in a pot, put them in the ground. You get your uh, Roberta's growing guide with it, written by the Walleens. They'll tell you step by step what to do, but they're very easy to plant. They'll be shipped to you when it's time to plant them. They'll start blooming by the end of May, and you'll have blooms for four months, which exactly. is crazy good. And every year, most yes. hollyhocks that you'll find are biannual. That means they come back every year, but every other year they don't have any flowers. And the flowers they're that just they green. do have are thin, yeah. they're single flowers, mm -hmm. and they're very spindly. In the hot summer heat, oftentimes the, those hollyhocks, they'll melt away, leaving plants that, that don't look yeah. very These good. These are way better. Exactly. And they don't tip over, which is a huge bonus because I always run out of those darn stakes. And I then, know. Uh, then I'm pulling twigs off of trees trying to get my plants to stand up. So yeah. these don't need all that babysitting. And again, just water them in. Use some of the Roberta's Spray and Flourish. I always recommend that maybe once a month, uh, which is a wonderful plant micronutrient that you can get on QVC.com, customer top rated. Uh, but again, they don't need much help. They'll just exactly. take off and they'll come these back are, every year. These are such easy plants to grow. And you can see this pink flower, this is one of the double flowers that you're gonna get versus this in my left hand mm -hmm. is one of the normal hollyhock flowers. They're so much thinner. They fade in the, so in yeah. the hot summer heat. They lose their color. Mm -hmm. These hollyhocks are non-fading, rich, They're super rich, fluffy. They're like a vibrant big, fluffy colors. carnation or something. They're and, it's gorgeous. And the other great thing is, is that you want to leave your hollyhock flowers on the stems. Do not deadhead these because okay. the flowers will actually turn in to seed pods. You see this? This is an old flower stalk, and each one of these was a flower that got used up. Uh -huh. Now, inside each of these Look at little all those, things, wow. these are seeds. Wow. The wind will blow them away. And then each and one makes a hollyhock plant. Exactly. These will naturalize in your garden, bringing you more and more hollyhocks every single year. I love it. I love more color. More flowers that I didn't have to plant, they just planted themselves. So this is what this plant will do. And you're getting six to start with. It's gonna turn into a lot more. Remind me again of the award that this won. That yes. was a pretty big deal. This was the 2012 Fluoro Select Award winner, which is, a, it's a European award. And the European plant awards mean mm -hmm. a lot in the garden industry. For them to win that award means that these were truly a revolutionary hollyhock. And it's certainly the case because growing about two to three feet tall, they don't flop over. Yeah. They flower starting this year with beautiful? more flowers than any other hollyhock out there. Up to 75 flowers per stock with multiple stocks per plant mm -hmm. and six plants. You can do the math. You're yeah. gonna get a ton of flowers. Now, how far apart should I plant these and how much space will they cover? Yes, you wanna plant them about one and a half to two feet apart. So one of these collections is gonna do about a 10 foot border. Nice. So if you wanna truly revolutionize your garden, mm -hmm. plant a few sets, you'll yeah. have no regrets. Yeah, at this price, which is, it's like $6 per plant. And think how many more plants you're gonna get every year from each one. You might wanna get a couple of sets because then you'll have along that entire picket fence or around yeah. the border of your yard or you know in pots on either side of your porch or all four corners of your deck. How beautiful will these be? Exactly, and that's why this is our only hollyhock collection of the season, mm -hmm. because there's no other hollyhocks out there that we've ever found that are anything like these. And the last thing Roberta's team wants to do is sell out of something great and then bring another 
lesser quality one and say, well, the really good one's sold out, but we still have this one. I know. So you guys pick like one great hollyhock, one great daylily, one great ground cover. Exactly. And you bring in the best one. And I'm sorry, but often their stuff sells out early in the season and you won't be able to get it later on when now you're thinking, oh, it's warm outside. I want to get some of those hollyhocks. Reserve yours now. They won't ship to you till it's time to plant them, but you won't be left in the proverbial dust exactly. uh, with, with having to buy those yuckier ones from the local garden shop. And you're gonna love these because if you guys can, if you, you just saw what was on the screen, these are the shipped as shown plants. Now what is by my finger are little flower buds. These are gonna be one of the first flowers blooming in your garden starting this May. Yeah. These are gonna just start to blossom before your eyes. And now these are gonna bloom from May until August. Yeah. That is four solid months of flowers. Mm -hmm. The average hollyhocks, they bloom June and July. So you're gonna get flowers a month before and a month later than other hollyhocks. So picture it like this. They're gonna start blooming when your peonies bloom. Peonies, so long, sayonara, bye-bye. About a month later, they're gone. But here come the hollyhocks still blooming. Oh, finally, the roses now are catching up with the hollyhocks. Yeah. But then again, roses kind of fade out by the end of the summer. You've still got hollyhocks. You're planting your mum in the fall, you've still got hollyhocks. Exactly, and these are gonna bloom for you every single year. Now, because these plants are shorter, growing about two to three feet tall, they use their energy to make flowers, and a lot of flowers. Yeah. So these two plants are gonna grow into a pot like, into a plant this size, this year. Yeah. And they're gonna get bigger and better and naturalize in your garden every single year. Well. I have to update you, and I hope you're getting more than one set, because here's the story. We started with about 4,000 of these plants. There's 1,000 left. So a lot of your fellow gardeners watching are picking up multiples of this because it is the best hollyhock around, and they're absolutely beautiful. So you have a Gotta Grow guarantee. Tell Always. us about that. We want to make sure that you're happy, because when you are, so are we. That's why we assure your satisfaction for perennials for one year annuals and tropicals for 90 days. So if for any reason you're not satisfied, please give us a call and we'll make sure that you're happy. All right, thank you, Devin. And go to my Facebook page and look up Devin's fabulous fig jam recipe.